Thank you, thank you. You may have heard of a story wherein artificial intelligence is trying to defeat the human race and take over the world. <laughs> or maybe seen a movie where a man falls in love with an AI girlfriend because his real girlfriend left him. <laughs> I find it interesting that we so often hear about artificial intelligence in a fearful or funny context. We don't even realize it, but from medical devices to smartphones, AI is already a part of our lives. At its core, AI is a fundamental tool that can help solve our most pressing problems. In fact, all the unjustified fear around AI is preventing us from properly using AI to make our world a better place. It is unfortunate that despite tremendous advances in technology, we still see millions of people going to bed hungry. Natural calamities like earthquakes and floods shatter millions of lives every year. Can artificial intelligence help solve these serious problems that we as humans are facing every day? The answer is yes. In this talk, I want to tell you how AI will make the world happier and peaceful. Hello everyone, I am Pranav, an engineering lead at Google Research. I work on building artificial intelligence to provide magical product experiences for our users. Recently, I've been using AI to help solve difficult humanitarian problems that our global society has been facing since a very long time. We all have probably heard the term AI at some point or the other. Nevertheless, it would help to introduce it quickly before we delve deeper. Well, artificial intelligence is the science where machines can self-learn from the data to make themselves smarter. So instead of us giving it instructions, AI machine can go through patterns of data and learn to do tasks on their own. This is very similar to how we as children learn to talk, walk, or do things. Isn't that fascinating? One important AI technology is neural networks. Neural networks are inspired by the human brain and work like the human brain. Just like how our brain is organized as, ner as layers of nerve cells called neurons, Neural networks are also structured in the same manner. A small child observes their surroundings and learns things by observing patterns around them. Similarly, neural networks learn by observing many examples and learning the connections between their neurons based on those examples. Let us use a simple example to understand this. We have an image at hand and the task for our neural network is to identify whether that image is that of a cat or a dog. The way we solve it is by taking the pixels of this image and feeding it to the lowest layer also called as the input layer. This layer processes this information and then passes it on to the next higher layer. This information flow is repeated through multiple layers until it reaches the top layer which has two neurons, one corresponding to a dog and the other corresponding to a cat. The neuron that gets more activated at the top level is essentially what gets predicted as the final answer by this neural network. So this is how we use this neural network to get answers. Now one might wonder, how do we teach or train this neural network? To teach it, we feed in a bunch of known examples, examples where we already know the answer through this neural network. When the network gives a wrong answer, we use that opportunity to backpropagate the information through the network. Backpropagating is essentially a feedback mechanism using which we correct the edge weights between the layers, such that the next time it is more likely to give us a correct answer. This is just like learning from your mistakes. On the other hand, when the neural network gives a correct answer, 
we reward it and we reinforce its ways through the same process. Very similar to how we reward a child when they do the right thing. This technique of backpropagation, learning from your own mistakes, is what makes neural networks so powerful enough to learn almost anything. So now that we have an idea about the basic concept of AI and neural networks, let us talk about how it will help our society be happier. AI is already used in applications all around us. AI is helping make our roads safer through self-driving cars and smart traffic signals. When you watch a video online, AI often helps you decide which video to watch based upon your preferences. When you send a text message, AI can even help you draft that text message. Through these applications, AI is making us more productive by automating the mundane tasks and happier by freeing up our time to do things that we love the most. But some of the most challenging problems that we continue to face in the 21st century are problems like hunger, climate change, or even illiteracy. Given that we have AI in our quiver, we should expect and even rightfully demand that it helps us solve these difficult problems. Let's first talk about hunger. About 690 million people still go to bed on an empty stomach each night. We are in the 21st century. We claim ourselves to be a modern civilization. So it's simply not acceptable that so many people suffer from lack of food. A major cause of hunger tends to be calamities. Not only natural calamities like floods and earthquakes, but also calamities inflicted by humans like war. When a calamity strikes, large populations are cut off from basic necessities like food and shelter. The global humanitarian community is usually overwhelmed in the aftermath of such a disaster. Distribution of relief often tends to be an even bigger problem than the availability of relief material. So in partnership with the United Nations, we developed AI technology that can help deploy aid to disaster struck regions by analyzing their aerial imagery. We analyze that aerial imagery to pinpoint the locations that are most affected by damage and thus in critical need of aid. We solve this problem by using deep learning to compare before and after disaster images of a region. When we compared the two images, we were able to determine where the most damage had occurred as a result of the disaster. We do this using a two-step process. The first step is to detect all of the buildings in a given region. Once we determine the buildings, the second step is to determine which of these buildings are damaged by the disaster. Here's an example from the Haiti earthquake. On the left side, we can see buildings identified as damaged. And on the right side, we can see buildings identified as not damaged. We can see that this technology is able to make predictions that are at par or even better than those made by humans. Such information, when aggregated together, highlights regions that are hurt by the disaster. This data, this technology, is hugely useful to deploy aid to people who are in critical need of this aid, like food and medicine. This was an example of how AI is helping solve hunger. But the potential of AI extends far beyond to areas like healthcare and education. In healthcare, I strongly believe that AI can make high quality diagnosis accessible to the entire planet. Diagnosis that was previously accessible only to the elite few will become accessible to every single person. We are already seeing this happen in the field of diabetic retinopathy, which unfortunately has been a leading cause of blindness. It's truly saddening that most of these patients did not have access to proper diagnosis. As a result, they didn't receive adequate treatment and their health declined. Using AI, we now have diagnosis technology 
that performs at least as well as doctors do. This is making diagnosis a lot more scalable and accessible. This application is a perfect example of human AI partnership, wherein AI does the heavy lifting and frees up our doctors to spend more time interacting with and helping their patients. I envision AI to work along similar lines of human AI partnership, where both humans and AI work together. Education. Education is the bedrock of every society. After all, that is what helps groom our children to become capable citizens. Unfortunately, there are millions of children out there still without access to formal education. What if AI could make education more accessible by providing a personalized learning experience to every child based on their strengths and needs? Every child is unique and deserves access to high quality education that is tailored for them. Every field that we look at, be it agriculture or education or healthcare, can deeply benefit from AI. Imagine a smartphone helping a farmer to plan and plant crops, get harvest information, forecast weather, forecast rainfall, and even get access to agricultural supplies. What is the use of technology if it cannot truly uplift the repressed and enrich their lives? Friends, AI is not science fiction. It's a powerful tool that's already here to make our lives easier and happier. Before closing, I'll say this. We cannot let irrational fear inhibit us from using AI for human good. Just like the steam engine invented in the 18th century or the telephone invented in the 19th century, AI has the potential to significantly improve our lives. AI will help uplift millions of people out of poverty. But just like the steam engine and like the telephone, it will only be as useful as we make it to be. So it is up to each of us to identify such productive opportunities and utilize AI to help heal the world. Let us work together to use AI to make our world happier and more peaceful. Thank you very much.